of Slack really comes down to one thing. Connections. Connections. Honestly, connection. Yeah, that's what we were going to say. This is Brandon, Anthony, Ala, Nina, Alexandra, and Aaron. What do they all have in common? Well, they love Slack. So much so, they lead their local Slack communities, helping others connect to information. Slack is like this treasure chest where you can put everything important into that environment and know that it's going to be there. It's a history and a repository of everything I've worked on for a client or community. Slack's our hub for communication. Uh, it's actually where I start my day every single morning. Uh, look at alerts, uh, what has you know, taken place, what's going on with my team, as well as what's going on with an organization. Connect to inspiration. Creating a container where people can come together and share ideas, network with each other, get access to opportunities that they may not have otherwise had access to. I can't describe it enough. It's, it's honestly magic. Connect to, well, each other. Everything is so people focused and human and that's not something that you see in a lot of tech companies. So I adore that Slack is taking this human first approach across everything it does. What I think is really important is we are all humans at the end of the day, right? We have technology that's supporting us, but at the end of the day, it's about the relationships. And through all of this connection, we're able to build a future of work together. I want to do more. I'm inspired. I have tools. I have people passionate around me. It's definitely give me like the idea so we can do more. Like, what's next? I feel like this is, you know, a way forward for us. How we work together, how we respect, you know, boundaries, how we respect the decisions we make for ourselves. I'm so looking forward for what the future is bringing. We are too. Slack, where the future works.